Welcome back, guys. Look at this giant friggin' bird with a dude on top of it. This is Rat. Also, shield for the first phase. This is the King of the Storm! Welcome to the hardest boss fight in vanilla Dark Souls 3. Who? So, let's go ahead and just cut the neck of the King of the Storm. He's not too, too bad once you- oh jeez. Once you learn- please don't burn me with fire. He's not too, too bad once you learn him. But, uh, this definitely was the boss that gave me the hardest time in Dark Souls 3. Which, I mean, it doesn't really say a lot because Dark Souls 3, I feel, was a little toned down. Maybe it's because I was so used to Bloodborne, and Bloodborne is just, like, redank in comparison to this game. This probably took me about 11 tries. And then I, I, I killed them. So hopefully... Woo, buddy! Hopefully, I can... Ouch. Hopefully I can do this. Usually I just let myself die if I take a hit, but that's lame. I'm not going to do that. So, Nameless King, or sorry, uh, King of the Storm, is not too, too bad. <clears throat> it's, it's, obviously, I'm calling them two different things. Uh, there's two phases to this fight. There's, I mean, quite obviously, I'm going to kill the bird, and then he's going to want to, he's going to get off and want to fight me. Now, there's little interesting lore tidbits that I will bring up um, when they happen. Woo! That uh, I'm not sure if everyone knows, or like, if it's common knowledge, or just the people that are nerds and look stuff up on the internet know this. Because I'm definitely a nerd. Come on, yeah, breathe fire. That's what you want, because you can get a good amount of hits in... And then you run away. And obviously... Unlocked is is the way to is the way to do this fight. Come on, come on, come on. One more. Fine. You're gonna make me wait. Yeah, just breathe fire. That'll work for me. Oh jeez. It's fine. Kill them. Dead bird. Super dead. Okay, so, you guys might recognize that being ouch. That's very similar to what Ornstein uh, does, and the knights of, at least the, the special knights of Gwyn would do, where they, uh, they, if their comrade falls in battle, they take his power. Um, and there's a, there is a reason for that. Um, I'm gonna kind I'm gonna start to explain it, and then his soul will confirm um, I'm not sure if you guys have played Dark Souls 1 or done any Dark Souls 1, uh, like, oh, geez. oh, Dark Souls 1, uh, like, war hunting? Yo, why are you stop thrusting? Um, but, this is Gwyn's firstborn son. Gwyn is the first Lord of Cinder. He is, uh, the final boss of Dark Souls 1. And this is his son. Now... We know that because the Nameless King, uh, obviously he has no name, Gwyn's first son did something wrong. Uh, did, just totally did something to anger his father, and he got banished, and then, oof, don't tell me who I'm talking about, you and your cool lord. Um, he banished his son and removed his son's name from the annals of history, and took down all the images of him, and a lot of people thought maybe Solaire was Gwyn's firstborn son, but no, it is the Nameless King. He has hair very similar to Gwyn, his armor is very similar to Gwyn, he's wielding lightning like his father did, uh, and the fact that he is the Nameless King would make sense, because he would have been a king, but uh, his name was stripped. Oh jeez, come on, no, 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 and you count, you do a half second, boom, and then you dodge, and then so you don't get by that. 
Um, so, yeah, he, also, the King of the Storm was the bird that a lot of people thought, this guy is the King of the Storm. But no, because they're like, well, maybe, like, he's the nameless king now because he doesn't have a sock. He doesn't have a title anymore because he killed his bird. Oh, well, I'm dead. Zap! Boom! Okay. That didn't go very well. Uh, next time, I shall kill him. No problem. Next time, first try. First try, not, incl not including first try. We never include first tries. Anyway, I will cut back to fighting him so you guys don't have to see the first phase anymore. Okay, we are back to the Nameless King. I use two S just because I'm a scrub. I am not Ember, so I technically have a full heal and a lemon S. Okay, so it's 164 by a slice of that, and I also probably should have waited for the... Oh! Okay, it's 171 with this sword. This sword's still better! Okay, so, we have our max damage. That's... Oh, that was lucky. I do just don't want to get hit by that again. And then, typically I stay far away from him, but I, I might stay close to him. You know what? Maybe I won't, because he almost just killed me. Okay, so let's just, let's just kind of chill out here. That is surprisingly long. I'm pretty sure that hitbox is a little busted, so I'm going to get extra far away from that attack. One, two. This is just, this is a war of attrition. You just want to take your time. Make sure you don't overextend yourself. Maybe range is the way to go. And you just you bait out his things, and then you attack once, then you do this again, then you attack, attack, and then you get away. It's it's really not that bad. You just gotta be patient. And learning these patterns is the problem initially. Okay. Let's just hope this doesn't hit me if you gotta count like a half second. One, there you go. And you cast this. That does, like, so much damage to that uh, Two. Then you roll away. Then you roll again. I missed. And then you roll a third time. And then you roll a fourth time. You kind of roll diagonally towards him. And you get another hit. Or two hits. And then you watch out because he's going to lightning spike. And that really hurts. And now we back up. Because... Oh, that was a bad time to this. Okay. It's totally fine. Totally fine. What's the worst that could happen? I get impaled. I laugh at getting impaled. Pretty sure we've all been impaled by a giant lightning spear at some point in our lives. Am I right? I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Okay, so then, come on, do do your do 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 a dive. He's half dead. Do yeah, there we go. That's what I want you to do. You do a dive, you do an attack, and you roll, and you go attack, attack, and there you go. That's the name of the bit. <laughs> Riveting commentary. Okay. Let's, let's keep going, and then you do your, your thrust. See, if you just talk to him, he actually, he's very polite, and he does what you want him to do. So, yeah, just stomp the ground. I'm cool with that. But yeah, just why don't you just, like, call lightning down upon me? And you can't have a second roll. Oh, no problem. So, I just would, like, hey, name is King, if you could just, like, go ahead and do, like, a dive attack. Thanks, bud. Thanks, man. And just let me, like, stab you a couple times, and then just, like, just, like, just, yeah, just swipe at me. Like, mainly just do, like, another, another dive attack. Oh, that's not exactly a dive, but it's fine. I like your hair, I must say. How long does that do to take how long does that take in the morning? It was very spiky. What what product is that? Is he one of those guys that uses like like Okay, maybe okay. I was gonna say a thing and then I was gonna immediately have to say, well I've done that before. So I was just gonna say, and I didn't do this, but my fiance did this. We got our engagement pictures done. Okay, half a second. Uh got our engagement photos done, and she was like, you didn't do your hair, and I was like, I did my hair. She's like, you didn't do your hair good enough, and I was like, okay, well, I don't have any gel with me, and she just, like, pulls out Vaseline and shoves it in my hair, and I'm like, eh, this is gross, but, you know, to be fair, it's actually a pretty decent hair gel. Now, I would never use it voluntarily, but it does the job. Oh, good, look what I say, ha ha, ha, it's funny, getting impaled, getting half shot, it's fine. No problem. Look, I'll drink my magical Sunny D, and the Nameless King's gonna die. Cool. Let's watch. Boom. Dead. Boom. Nameless King's dead. No problem. Super dead. I'm going to sleep behind his corpse. I'm sleeping.
Okay, we have Soul of the Nameless King. We'll go ahead and light this bonfire. And before we read that, I just want to grab one more thing, because there's one more thing here, and it's not this. It's over at the end. Titanite Slab, worth it. Super worth. Okay, so... I mentioned Ornstein, and we found his spear here. Now, another reason why I think, uh, the Nameless King, it's, it's confirmed at this point, why the Nameless King is, is the, the son, the son's firstborn, which is, the son is Glynn. Um, there's Ornstein's armor, is, uh, it also mentions that once there was nothing to protect, Smo was the only knight left, even though Smo was an executioner on the knight. And Ornstein probably came here because Ornstein was swore, uh, sworn to serve the son's firstborn. So after Guinevere, or the image of Guinevere, got destroyed in Dark Souls 1, uh, Ornstein probably ran here, and then it, it seems like he died. Maybe he didn't die, maybe he became a snake man. But we got all of Ornstein's armor, which is cool. But let's go ahead and read The Soul of the Nameless King. Soul of the Nameless King, one of the twisted souls seeped in strength. The Nameless King was once a dragon-slaying dragon god of war, before he sacrificed everything to ally himself with the ancient dragons. So, that's rad, and we can get, uh, we can now get Nameless King's crazy hair, which is cool. But, we can also get his spear, but we are now about to enter the DLC. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in Ashes of Ariandel.